I'm still here. I told you guys I'm still here. Eh? It's still the 13th. It's still the 13th of May 2020. But now we are on track. It's day 134 now. Yes. Of our daily memory verse challenge. So moving on to the next verse. Galatians chapter 5 verse 9. It says, This false teaching is like a little yeast that spreads through the whole batch of dough. Okay. Wow. What an analogy. You know, like if when you bake, you're baking cake or bread, whatever it is that you bake, and you add just a tiny, 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 tiny little yeast, just a little. But then it makes that flour to rise. It spreads across. Like the, regardless of the fact that it's tiny, but the effect is what? It's huge. It's very significant. And that's what happens when false teachings enter the body of Christ. It spreads. And uh, you can't really quantify the amount of effect and damage and consequence it causes. That's why we have to be what mindful and watchful not to allow such to creep in in our midst. So if anyone is trying to make a long list for you in the name of minister, pastor, whatever title the person choose to give him or herself, don't go by title, okay? They'll make a chest list. They'll be like, you know what? Except you give, except you pay 30,000 naira or dollar, whatever your currency is, you can make the kingdom of God, except you come every day, you make sure you are here every day by 9 a.m. and you stay till whatever time, except you fast 40 days, you know, except you you cover your hair and you cover your nose and you cover every part of your body. I mean, it's good to be properly dressed, don't get me wrong. But what I'm trying to say is when they make rules that you must keep in order to get approval from God, in order to make it to heaven, hmm, that's when they become, they become error, they become false teachings because it's not by those things those are not the things that will take us to heaven those are not the things that will make god say okay yes this one is righteous this one is good you can pass no jesus did it but then be mindful of people that will still tell you yes jesus did it he did it all so now you have to sit down cross your leg and just they look or just they do anyhow Eh? You can go to club, you can smoke, you can parry, <laughs> you can you can womanize, you can do whatever you want because Jesus has done it. So it doesn't matter what you do, our righteousness is from Christ. No, Mm-mm. you still have to abide by the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. You still have to live your life just the way Jesus lived his life. He honored God. He showed love to man. He even sacrificed his own life for human beings. That's the kind of life we have to live. You know, a life of love. Show your love to God. Show your love to your fellow human beings. Do good. Give to people. If you have, just give. Okay, do what you need to do. Treat others the way you want to treat. You want to be treated. Don't be wicked. Don't wicked people. Okay? Don't live your life anyhow. Live your life based on what God wants us to do. Based on what God has showed us and taught us to do. Alright, so... Mm, mm. So much talking, Abby. I know. But I'm done. So I hope to see you tomorrow. That will be day 135, I believe. And please do have a lovely night. But before you go... Make sure you read your Bible if you haven't. And make an attempt to memorize a verse. This one I shared with you is quite simple. In just two minutes, it will be up here. Mm? Just remember that false teaching is spread. Just like a little yeast would spread in a whole batch of dough. You know. So, 
false teachings they are dangerous so let us not allow it let us not tolerate it okay all right peace out bye <laughs>